have I got a deal for you. When you see a person dressed like this, uh, it's the proverbial stereotypical, say, used car salesman. You're supposed to run away. You're supposed to also recognize that this person may not really be offering you a really good deal. And the irony is that because someone dressed in such a ridiculous fashion should be setting off all sorts of alarms or bells in your brain, means you should not have justifiable reliance on anything this person says. The irony is if someone looked more presentable, then you would have a better case of fraud against him based on his lies because you more likely reasonably believed in him. But someone dressed like this, where is the justifiable reliance? That is one of the six elements in fraud. For fraud, you have to show a material misrepresentation of fact. You have to show that this misrepresentation was knowingly made. You have to show that there was an intent to induce reliance, that the reliance was justifiable, what I've just been talking about, that there were damages, and that there is a causal link between the misrepresentation of fact and those damages.